folks, welcome to Thunder Mesa Studio East, AKA my garage. This is where I have most of my power tools and today we're gonna to use them to build the ON18 upper deck for Thunder Mesa's Calico Mountain expansion. Let's get started. Well, the first thing I need to do is uh, translate my plan for the ON18 line full size onto this three by four foot sheet of half inch plywood. Taking careful measurements from my plan, I used a straight edge and a bar compass to enlarge the ON18 track layout to full size on the plywood. Then, I figured where the cut lines around the track should be and drew those in too. There we go. Now I'll just use a jigsaw to cut everything out. Always take special care when using power tools. Follow the instructions, support your work properly, and wear safety glasses. Okay. There's our ON18 deck. Just a little sanding around the edges. We move on to the next step. You probably already noticed that I cut out the bridges already. Where there's going to be one, two, three high trestle bridges. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some eighth inch MDF to create bridge decks for all three of these bridges. I'm going to cut those out on the bandsaw. And what that'll do is it'll support the track. It's the same height as the cork road bed I'm going to use, so it'll line up perfectly and support the track while I build the bridges on top. But once I get the ties on there and the other bracing underneath and the trestle bents. Trust me, it's going to look great. Okay, I've got my three bridges cut out. Let's see how we did here. This one goes here. This one goes here. And this long one goes to the underground mine scene over here. So the last thing I have to do while I'm here in the wood shop is cut some upright supports to elevate this above the ON30 deck down below. I decided I want it to be about nine inches higher. So that, that's uh, 36 feet in uh, O scale. And I'm just gonna use some scrap one by twos to elevate that. So I need to cut these eight and a half inches. And I figured out on my plan here that I'm gonna need 14 of these. And to cut these, I'm just gonna do it on the chop saw. Okay, I've got my 14 pieces plus a couple extra just in case. And uh, the last thing I did was cut some little cleats. When this is, these are installed, they'll go like that and have a good understanding. Next thing we'll do, we'll take all this up to the studio and put it together. Okay, we're back up here at the studio, and the first thing I need to do is attach some of these here legs, some of these here cleats, like that. enough to get us started. Now I can install a few of these in strategic locations which will be enough to get it up over there and start uh, installing it on the layout. Twice, drill once. 
Okay, we can fix this. We can fix this. piece here that was longer to go down into the underground mine scene to support the upper track but uh, nice and sturdy now got all the supports in place now I'll just uh, vacuum up all this sawdust and we'll be ready to start thinking about some cork roadbed now you'll be able to see where these uh, MDF bridges I cut will come into play I'm just going to glue them in place with some yellow carpenter's glue and uh, clamp them overnight. been a little bit over 24 hours and um, I've already started putting the cork roadbed down as you can see and that's uh, that's today's project I'm gonna get all of the cork roadbed in and I'm doing it exactly the same way that I did for the ON30 on the lower deck the only difference is this is N scale cork roadbed which I'm using for the ON18 <music> safe to remove these thumbtacks now and see how we did. And here's how the upper deck looks with the uh, cork road bed in and those thumbtacks removed. You can uh, better see what I had in mind with those little MDF bridge supports. Get a closer look at them here. Now I'll use a sanding block to make sure everything is nice and smooth for future track laying. Now when I go to lay track here, about 85-90% of it is actually going to be hidden. All that the uh, all that's going to be visible is what comes out on this side of the backdrop here here as it comes in and out the tunnels and then back here in the underground mine scene. So for most of the track I'll be using just N-scale code 80 uh, flex track and components like this uh, 90 degree crossing right here. And then for this portion that's visible I'll be using uh, Pico HON30 track to represent ON18. I have one of my ON18 locomotives up here just uh, posed in place. That's uh, the Walter Knot. Just to give you an idea of <laughs> how high this is going to be 
up above the ON30 main line. That's uh, about nine inches or 36 scale feet. Just as a point of comparison, the Horse Thief and Nevermind ON18 line is uh, six inches above the ON30 main line or uh, about 24 feet. And I think that's going to do it for this session. I'm just going to do one last thing. I'm going to take a Sharpie and my plan here, and I'm going to go through and kind of sketch in where some of the scenic elements are going to be, because the next thing we're going to do is start roughing in some of this scenery with foam. But that's going to do it for this time. Thanks for tuning in, amigos. Adios for now.